This is my TiVo Series 3 HD digital media recorder. I purchased this in approximately 2006 when it was first released. This records TV for me using my antenna so I can watch it later. Lately, this TiVo Series 3 is making a terrible noise when it runs. The issue is the fan. So in this video, I'm going to illustrate how to replace the fan in your TiVo Series 3 if you still have one in 2022 or years after this video has been created. So we just need to flip this around and we have a screw here, 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 and here that we need to take off. Going to need a screwdriver with a Torx bit. I will indicate the size of the Torx bit in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and remove this. So we have all of the screws on the outside off and then we need to slide the case and the sides back so the top comes back. On mine I always have an issue right over here in this corner it always wants to bind so I have to kind of pull out and then pull back. So now I pull back and there's the inside. I've been in here before because I had to replace these capacitors. Maybe it was six, seven years ago. They were all, the tops were bowed out and the device wouldn't power up. So I replaced these capacitors on the power supply, all the ones that were bowed. Very inexpensive, maybe around $20 of parts. So here we have the existing fan and the existing wire. One way that I kind of knew that it was my fan making the terrible noise or in one way you could know is if you just took a piece of paper and kind of fold it up over and over and over again and make it narrow if your fan's making a terrible noise. Stick this piece of paper in one of the little holes here of the vent until it hits the fan blade when it's spinning. If you do that and then the sound that you hear coming from the TiVo Series 3 goes away, then you know it's the fan. But really this is the only thing that's gonna make noise in this device other than maybe your hard drive failing, which would be more of a clicking sound. So if you hear a terrible noise, it's gonna be this fan without question that needs to be replaced. I purchased this fan. It's a 70 millimeter fan. I bought it from Amazon. We're gonna give it a try. I'll put a link in the description of this video to this fan, as well as some other fans that others have recommended in various forum posts, if you wanna check those out. Or you could also attempt to get the standard fan that came with the TiVo Series 3. Got the screws off. Fan comes out. It's a little bit closer. A little bit further away. So here is this two prong plug. We have red on the left, black on the right, or black is on the back of the TiVo Series 3 and red is on the front. So we just need to go ahead and grab that with our fingers. Let me here, I'm going to tilt this camera down slightly so you can see that a little bit better. So we just need to grab it on either side, and then pull straight up and then our fan comes off. Let's take a look at the fan if you want to order this replacement. This is a co-fan. It says F-725L12F DC 12 volts 0.13 amps. Uh, this fan is 70 millimeters wide and 70 millimeters high. So certainly you could order this fan online. There's a place called Weak Knees or Weakness. They're a TiVo supplier. You're probably familiar with them if you're a TiVo addict. But they can order you this or sell you this fan. Or you can find ones on Amazon such as this one here that we'll be putting in. This one here is a GDS time. It says model GDA7015 bearing sleeve, DC 12 volts, 
0.16 amps made in China. So we're going to go ahead and put this fan in. It's not as deep as the stock fan, but the dimensions are the same. We want to put the fan in where it blows air that way. So on your replacement fan, many of them or most of them will have arrows. So this one says it's an arrow pointing that way. So it looks like we're going to want to face it that way. So it will pull in air from little vents in the bottom of the TiVo, pulls air in, pushes air out the back. So pretty straightforward. Just need to go ahead and screw it down in the back with our large screws. It's a little bit of an angle. See a little bit better. Let's just go ahead and put in the four screws in the back. Often you don't want to tighten these all the way. Generally probably a good idea just to kind of get them started. Otherwise I'll have issues putting in the other ones. But I think I got it pretty good so far. I'm not tightening them down all the way quite yet. So we do have concerns about CFM or cubic feet per minute. And what is, how much air is this fan pushing? The more air it pushes potentially, if it's inefficient, it's gonna make a lot more noise. So that's a concern, how much sound this is going to make in your living room or bedroom, wherever the TiVo Series 3 is. So it's a concern. We want to get enough air flowing, but you don't want it to make so much noise that it drives you crazy. So keep that in mind. All right, so here we have our wire. One thing about this specific fan that I'm ordering is the connector is really not the right connector for this two pin header. When you look at the other connector, it's more what I would consider to be a standard kind of connector. So a little bit of an issue there, but we're gonna go ahead and push through. I believe we can get this on. This isn't gonna be under a lot of stress. So again, we wanted to put it to the same way. So we really need the red wire to go to the front, black wire to go to the back, put it on our two pin connector and then push down. You can see when I push down, it's deflecting the little piece of plastic. It's pushing that away, but it is pushed down. It's not gonna come out and we're not shipping this anywhere. So that should be fine. Can flip this around. They do have a little wire hole down that we could use over here if we want. I'm gonna route the wire in there. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. So just put it right like that. And then put it back together. So just slide the case back on and slide it forward. And then put our screws back on and then plug it to the TiVo. So let's fast forward here while I put on these screws. So now we have all the screws mounted in there. We can go ahead and plug it in. What we're going to look for when we plug this into our TV is whether it powers on. Um, I have tried a fan that I got out of another computer that I had laying around the house. It was drawing more amperage and the TiVo Series 3 would not even power up with that fan. Also when I powered it up, it made an awful lot of fan noise, which wouldn't have been acceptable. So that's why I ordered this specific fan because it's a quieter fan. Um, they do have like decibel ratings on the fan so you can kind of get a sense of how much noise the fan's going to be making. And then if you can, maybe check out the CFM. I'm going to put a link again in the video to this fan as well as other, as well as other fans that other people have recommended so you can kind of make your own choice on what type of fan that you want to use. They're pretty inexpensive, these fans, like usually under $5, maybe $10 for a really nice one whatever nice is considered to be, probably a little bit better bearings in there. All right, let's go ahead and connect this back up and see if it powers up. All right, here we have my dusty entertainment 
center, if you will. So we've gone ahead and put the antenna back on, put on the HDMI cable, ethernet cable, and the moment of truth is the power cable back here. Put my hand back there, I can feel cool air coming out the back of the fan so I can feel the air blowing out. You can hear a little bit of sound from the fan, it's not too terribly bad. Let's take a look at the front of the unit. And we can see on the front, it says TiVo. Has the LEDs, so that part looks good. If these lights don't come on, then you've got a problem. I think it does a detection of the amperage or voltage pull from the fan. So when it detects that something isn't right, then it's not going to completely power up. That's what happened to me when I put in a fan from one of my computers. So let's take a look at the TV. So here we're just waiting for the TiVo Series 3 to power up. Overall, when I put my hand on the back of the TiVo Series 3, I could feel cool air blowing out of the fan. The volume of air seemed to be similar to the stock fan that I had taken out. So I think we'll be fine here in terms of the fan blowing enough air through the case. And certainly this is better to replace the fan before the other fan completely fails. So at some point your fan's making noise, eventually those bearings are gonna go bad and then there's no airflow. So having some airflow with a fan that's functional is better than no airflow whatsoever. As you just saw and heard, the TiVo Series 3 is successfully powering up after replacing the fan. Here's information about the fan that I ordered from Amazon. Keep in mind the connector on this fan is technically not the correct connector type. However, it does fit securely onto the two pin connector on the motherboard of the TiVo Series 3. I'll put a link in the description to this fan where you can purchase it on Amazon. I'll also put some information about other fans that other people have recommended on various forums. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you can use this video to successfully replace the noisy fan in your TiVo Series 3.